Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhak Kodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And Shalom to all you brothers out there pushing this word to the best of your ability. So, hey, man, in my spirit today is basically, man, you know, keeping it limited with these people in the world, you know, our family, you know, your, uh, your so-called friends, you know, that you, you had once in the world, you know, at the end of the day, they're not in the same spirit, you know, they, at the end of the day, they don't want to see this place go down, man, you know, you could be around talking to a family member, and uh, about oh uh, you know they'll they'll talk about how Esau did this and did that you know did these bad things and you'll talk about hey you know the end is near for them you know their country their country is going down their time is about up you know then all of a sudden they 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 had they got a problem with it so it's like what what the hell do you want you know let's go it's uh. It's a St. Matthews 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on the earth. I am come not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. God. No, that's, that's what you see, man. It's all kind of division out here. You know, people that were uh, once uh, real cool family members and all that, you know, they're they're against each other, man. You know, it says, you no, know, it comes to set a variance father in the, it's like a man at variance against his father, you know. That's a uh, son against his father, man, you know. That's a uh, a daughter against her mother, you know. That's mother against that's daughter against her mother, man. That's that's a uh, immediate family right there, man. You know, if that's the immediate family, how much more, you know, others, man. You know how much more uh you against your uncle or your your your, your auntie, whatever, man. You know. Says uh. And a man's foes should be they of his own household. Console, so that's that's what you see, you know. Whether you live with your uh your 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 parents, whether you live with your uh where whatever your living situation is, whoever you're living with, you know, you you clearly see, man. You know that they're they're your enemy. You know, in the times to come, man. They they don't know, they don't have no idea what times to come. You know, they they believe that peace is coming to this place, man. You know? Well, it clearly says how Shai is coming to bring not peace, but a, but a sword. You know? And, uh... And they, uh... Yeah, these people, man, clearly see that they're, uh... That they're enemies, man. You know, so it's, uh, he that loveth father or mother... More than me is not worthy of me. And he that loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So, you know, just keeping it, keeping a fair balance, you know, keeping a, a good limit, man. You know, it says, uh, and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life. For my sake shall find it. Huh, so you know you uh you out here trying to find your life. You know you uh you've already found your life, you know. This truth is already your life. You know, we've already uh we've already been Israelites, you know. We're not so called blacks, Latinos, or Native Americans. You know? You find out we were Israelite, it's not a uh um temporal thing this is this this who we've always been we just didn't know it you know so basically you know you uh you go here trying to seek you find your life man you found it man you know and uh and he will who and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it now so you know you uh lose you cast away 
you know, you cast away all that BS, you know, that you uh used to do in the world, man. You know, and the way you're thinking, you know, oh, I gotta uh, I gotta uh, become a truck driver or something, you know, and just live the truck life. You know, you cast that away, you lose that, you know. Say, you know, hey, you know, the the most I, you know, yeah, he actually chooses you. You know, you don't choose him. But you know he gave you the he gave you to understand this word, you know you you uh you say hey you know, f screw that truck driving job you know, and just uh fall back. You know hey you you find you're gonna find your you gonna you gonna find your life you know. So let's see uh. Cause all the hey, all those ways of this world, man, are death, man. You know. This is a. Uh, this um. This Micah seven and five, trust ye not in a friend, put ye not confidence in a guide, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. Ah, huh, so you know you over here. You know, you 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 shouldn't be uh telling all mouthing off all your uh business to your uh to your uh your your woman, you know. You know, hey, uh, you know, what I mean, especially if she don't if she don't know, it's it's a, a wise thing, you know, that you don't uh that you don't be just telling her every damn thing, man. You know, you telling her all the ins and outs. You know, hey, she, she's, uh, I said, what, uh, she's, she, that's mine enemy, you know, down here in the 10th verse, you know, and according to the curses, man, we already know, we know that, uh, the tender woman is a, a monk, she, you know, the tender and delicate woman, you know, she have an evil eye towards you, you know, by now you have seen all them, them, uh, perfect examples of that, you know, but, uh, for the son dishonoreth the father, the daughter riseth up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Come on. So once again, man, you know, that's why it's wise to just keep it limited. Keep it limited with these people, man. Because in those times, man, they're going to... uh. They're not going to give a damn, man. They're going to, uh, you know, you think tr these troops come up in the house, your house and bust down your house, you know, and say, hey, point a gun at your, uh, your, your family member's head, you know, where is he at? Where is he at? Tell me where is he at? You know, what they going to do? They're going to give you up. Oh, he's in there. He's, 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 uh, you know, he's hiding in the, uh, under his bed or something like that, man. You know? They gonna give us. They gonna give us up, man. So it's uh. This is uh. Let me see. They just started at uh, twelve. This is uh, Matthew's twenty four and twelve, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Kind so you know not just our uh. I was talking about the uh, that's just that's the uh, your main closest you know. Your your woman your your your. Mother, your daughter, your son, your father, you know how if it's them, you know how much more these these your your neighbors or something that you know, you know. Like I was saying earlier, your so-called friends that you knew in the world, man. This is uh, so, hey, cause once uh, once all hell break loose, man. They ain't gonna give a uh, damn about you, man. You're not gonna be trying to. They're gonna be trying to protect their own, man. You know, stuff is gonna be limited out here. We ain't no more food at the uh, the grocery store, man. What 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 you think? What you think going to go down, man? You know. Now, personally, I know somebody who uh. You know, instead of bringing groceries in the house, you know, they just, just for some reason just want to uh, have the basket right outside, you know, the cart. 
right outside the door, you know, where everybody can see, you know, they're just bringing in the, the, the uh, groceries in the house, you know, got the trunk all up, you know, got the uh, groceries just, just being seen, hey, man, these people gonna, they're going to remember that, like, damn, man, you know, just a few weeks ago, you know, we seen them grabbing all these groceries out the car, you know, or out the cart, you know, we know he got groceries for days, you know, it says, uh, it says, Second Edris 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man sh shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Come. So like I say, you know, the, uh, you know, it's not just going to be a famine of word. It, it is going to be a, a famine out here, man. You know, it is going to be a famine of food and water out here. You know, and it's going to it's going to be all out, all out chaos out here, man. You know, so so as that's going on, like I said, they're going to they ain't going to uh, ain't going to be no. Hey, what's up, man? You know. You know, you may have let your uh, neighbor borrow your parking spot and whatever. He ain't going to give a damn about none of that. Hey, you may have uh, uh, babysitted your, your neighbor's kids or something like that, you know. You may have been real, real tight with them, man. But, hey, once them sources uh, become limited, what they going to do, man? They ain't going to have no pity upon you, man. They going to be busting down your door, man. I'm busting down your window. You know, we know you got food, you know, MFR. You know, they're going to be running all through all through your stuff, man. Looking for food. They they know that you got food, you know, because they keep then seeing you uh, grabbing out all kind of food out of your uh your car or your shopping cart, whatever, man. You know, that's why it's, hey, it's, it's wise, man. That, uh, <laughs> like I said, it's wise not to be... uh close to these people man There's a lot of people going they're going to be surprised in that day man you know let's read it again this is a second address 15 and 18 no in 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor uh, he ain't going he ain't going to uh, he ain't going to care that he uh you know busted through his window and you know and uh accidentally fell onto your your daughter or your son he ain't gonna give a damn about that, you know. When you when you uh when you hungry as hell, man. You know he ain't got no food. You know when you're hungry as hell, how do you feel? You don't really you don't really care about anything, man. You know you wanna uh oh you you wanna stay spiritual, but saying when you when you hungry, man, you know. Hey, you ain't got this word. You know what you you are uh, capable of doing. You know, saying so that time, man, ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be no pity upon you, man. But uh, shall destroy their houses with the sword. Come, so they come up in your house with with their gun. You know, some some knives, machetes, whatever, man. Coming in, uh, ready to take, ready to kill you, man, and take your food. You know, you're going to, hey, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight that motherfucker to keep your food, man. You know? And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Come. So this A, man. <laughs> it ain't going to be nothing nice, man. But we... We know uh, that we ain't, we ain't going to have to uh, resort to none of that. You know, we ain't going to have to be like, oh, uh, I ain't got no food. You know, I'm going to have to go bust up in his house. We ain't going to have to worry about that, man. You know, according to Psalms 91, most high is going to give his angels charge over us, man. You know, some brothers, we've already had certain experiences to where, you know, you was super hungry, you may have an eight for a day or two. They're the both side. Hey, 
Most High had made sure that that He fed you, man. You know. Says uh. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Come. So like it was going into that um, scripture, you know, and the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be, is going to be a lack of, of food, man. You know, and great tribulation. You know, so, so you, uh, you didn't want to serve the Lord, you know, or the Lord didn't choose you to serve him, that you're going to be one of them battling against your neighbor, man, for food. You know, but hey, you know, Lord willing, we endure, we serving the Lord. It says, uh, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, come. So hey, we gonna it's not gonna be no uh lack of water, or lack of food for the for a servant the most high servants, man. You know. But ye shall be thirsty, behold my serv servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed, come. So in them times, man, we ain't gonna have to uh so we ain't gonna have to resort to that that carnalness, man. The Lord's gonna have something set up. He's gonna have the uh the angels play on our mind to where hey, you know, we put up the prayers, you know, the angels gonna play on our minds, and we're gonna be led to the right spot, man. We're gonna be led to the right spot. You know? I say you know, I usually say, you know, you don't know exactly how you're gonna get there, but you got faith that you'll make it there though. Well, we got faith that Mosai how about Shemel Shah will lead lead us to that food. You know, and I say he's done shown us time and time again. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. Come, you know, because hey, you might have seen your neighbor, but uh, you might have seen your neighbor bring in some food or whatever, you know, you trying to bust down his door to get some food, you know, or your neighbor's trying to bust in your door to get some food. You may have eaten all your food, you know. So some you're gonna be trying to get in people's houses, trying to get food, and you have, you're still not gonna be able to get none. So you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be sor sorrowful, man. You're gonna be crying. And all like right right here it says uh, and show how for his vexation of spirit, come. So your uh spirit's gonna be vexed in that day. Not having any food, no water, you know. And then, hey, man, your 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 kid. Or how you gonna how you gonna feed your kids, man? You gonna you gonna have to resort to eating eating your kids, man. You're not gonna have no no other uh explanation, man. You know. Hey, come, man. So that's, that was in my spirit, man. You know. Just to uh keep keep it uh keep it limited with these people in the world, man. You know, cause coming during those times, man, you're gonna see their true colors, man. You know, say, so, hey, man, just wanna say, hey, the water you how about me? I was shy for putting the Holy Spirit on me. Or conquered, I should do this lesson. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And shalom to all you brothers out there pushing his word to the best of your ability. Shalom.